Time now to meet your 2022-2023 Chilliwack Chiefs. Joined by a member of our Chilliwack Chiefs family, please welcome Kobe Wilson with number one from Clarence Center, New York, Austin McNicholas. Please welcome Mason Baker with number three from Cobham, Great Britain, Cornell University commit, Liam Steele. Please welcome Jed Sammy with your Chillac Chiefs captain, number four from Mission British Columbia, University of North Dakota commit, and Vegas Golden Knights prospect, Abram Weed. Please welcome Nigel Sammy with number five from Nanaimo, British Columbia, Hunter McGuinness. Please welcome Avery Bond with number seven from Port Moody, British Columbia, Quinnipiac University commit, Lucas Saracci. Please welcome Weston Engel with number eight from Fresno, California, Brian Morse. Please welcome Ian Sewell with number nine from Kingston, Ontario, Chad Muller. Please welcome Axel Ansel with number 10 from Cloverdale, British Columbia, Dalton McGilvery. Please welcome Jasper Gibbs with number 11 from St. Michael, Minnesota, University of St. Thomas commit, Casey Leyland. Please welcome Noel Leeson with number 12 from Burnaby, British Columbia, Dryden Kuramoto. Please welcome Bowen Motts with number 13 from West Vancouver, British Columbia, Michigan State commit, AJ Lacroix. Please welcome Dean Harris with number 14 from Potsdam, New York, Brian Jones. Please welcome Tanner Bone with number 15 from Calgary, Ontario, Dylan Kinch. Please welcome Nixon Kicker with number 17 from Kamloops, British Columbia, Brady Milburn. Please welcome Beckett and Riker Claussen with number 18 from Langley, British Columbia, Darius Batchelor. Please welcome Real Tetro with number 19 from Surrey, British Columbia, Matteo Merzik. Please welcome Brody and Chase Price with number 23 from North Ellenboro, Massachusetts, Sasha Telegram. Please welcome Mason and Theo Courtney with number 24 from Langley, British Columbia, Hunter Curtis. Please welcome Mackenzie and Summer Kicker with number 27 from Halifax, Nova Scotia, University of Vermont commit, Duncan Ramsey. Please welcome Ella Camp with number 28 from Pat's 
Nashville, Ontario, Aaron Davidson. Please welcome Tyler Kemp with number 29 from Burnaby, British Columbia, Nico Gravis. Please welcome Aiden Guerra with number 31 from Abbotsford, British Columbia, Cole Savage. Please welcome Lucas Braun with number 94 from Manchester, New Hampshire, University of Connecticut commit, Mason Kesselring. And now, introducing the Chilliwack Chiefs bench staff, head coach and general manager, Brian Maloney. Associate coach and assistant general manager, Brad Rahella. Assistant coach, Chris Price. Trainer, Adrian Presnilla. Goaltending coach Eric Williams. And video coordinator Jared Craig. Your 2022-2023 Chilliwack Chiefs. Well, there you have it, the 2022-23 version of the Fraser Valley outfit. Your Chiefs getting set to take on the Marin Centennials on opening night here at the Chilliwack Coliseum. We'll have the puck drop of the first period next. Bonnie DeMarlo and Tyler here with you from the rafters here at the Chilliwack Coliseum. Just wrapping up pre-game festivities, getting set for the national anthem as well. Good to see the kids from minor hockey down there. Yeah, that is cool. What a sweet little tradition that is. Yeah, and there's a bunch of youngsters out there as well. And even some of the youngsters got to skate out perhaps with a player they're billeting as well too. And that's pretty cool. Even my boy, uh, who is a goaltender, he got to get out there as well too. So uh, I know he was pretty stoked about that. And he bet you the rest of those youngsters are. We so just give him one little last little kudos to the Huskers there at Sunrise. With a uh, little hardware in hand, they got the Cascade Cup. Of course, they beat Langley for that a few weeks ago. Chiefs captain Abram Weeb set to take the ceremonial face off. The Huskers uh, have turned the corner around, haven't they? They really have. They, they really have. And uh, Coach Bob Reese, uh, he is at the helm of that, Bonnie. He really is. Uh, he's down there with his youngsters right now, too. They're exchanging helmets, too. I wonder if they're going to make Weeb put the hockey helmet, I'm talking about the, the football helmet on as one of the youngsters for the Oscars has got Weeb's bucket on. One of the guys still got ice on his leg too. Bouncing puck behind the Chilliwack goal, steer to the side, Lowe's knocked it towards McNicholas who's got the angle down with the right pad and here comes Chilliwack Casey Leyland through center on the right wing side ahead just out of the reach of Mason Kesselring. Around the net, Kesselring. Watched by two Centennials, Sasha Telegwin steals, feeds McKinnis, fires a shot, scores! There it is! What a shot! And what a setup by Sasha Telegwin to find the pitching. Hunter McKinnis, who makes no mistake, goes high on the glove side, the Chiefs will open the scoring here with 4.28 left in the first. Sweet little sauce from Telegwin coming from behind the net. He's got his head up all the way, looking to distribute that puck. And uh, what a zinger, top corner. What a great view that you can see there from behind the net. A no doubter top corner. A little bit of history there, Bonnie. First a goal scored on 89.5 a JR Country broadcast. Pretty cool. Yeah, a couple nice fortunate bounces landed on Chief Sticks. I like both the players are smart, Vonnie. They push the puck out in front of them and they're able to skate into it. Here's Diego Johnson now to the right wing side. Erickson moving in on goal and McNicholas stayed with them. 
And here's Mateo Mersic the other way down the left wing side over the Merritt line. Mersic swings wide now through the crease. Score! back-to-back -back power moves. We see Nick Nicholas down the other end, kicking that left pad out, keeping the puck out of the invisible line, and then going the other way. Mercic, how about this speed, Bonnie? Just puts it into another gear, Bonnie. You notice once he put it into the other gear, he was able to not stride, but just work his edges, work his edges, lower his center of gravity, and cut towards the net, and he makes no mistake on the backhand, slides at five hole. A little bit of a trickler, but what an end-to-end -end rush there from Mercic. And now the Centennials have control. Here's Mason Kesselring, high slot, moves in, he shoots, he scores! Kesselring has made it 3 nothing, And this is just forecheck and toughness and effort, Bonnie, and compete on the puck. Compete is the word of the night. And this is just a bomb. An absolute bomb off the Kesselring. Keeps it about shin pad knee high. And that just handcuffs the goaltender. When these goaltenders are dropping down, of course they're pads, but that 12 inches gets covered, but then that just goes right in between the trapper, the left-handed catch, and the left-handed pad. What a great shot, Bonnie. Everybody always thinks they want to go top corner bar down. No way, find that sweet spot when the goaltender is going down in that butterfly. Skated back in Chilliwack territory. Abram Weeb, the Vegas Golden Knights draft pick. Can't clear the zone though, it's held in. Snapshot off the post, no, they say it's in. It beats Austin McNicholas, it did clang iron, and the red light went on. And the turnover by Weeb, who couldn't get the puck out of his own zone, and the Centennials make him pay, and they get on the board eight minutes in the period. Yeah, went left post, middle post, and right out. Great shot that was from the point, and the puck's just not able to get out, Vonnie, off the stick of Abram Weeb. A little bit of an innocent backhand. Just couldn't clear the zone, but then Vonnie, when the puck went up to the right point, the Chiefs kind of got all on their heels, and no one really went out to address the defender that had a clean lane. And he rips it left post, a middle post, and out to put the goal deficit back down to two for the Centennials. Hunter Curtis wrapped up by his number 24 counterpart, Mark Thurston, comes up the right wing wall and now Kesselring bats it down. Down the right wing side, Kesselring in front, here's Telegman, shot stop, rebound, oh, couldn't get a stick on that was Leyland. Good looking chance, here comes the Centennials with numbers three on two. Here's Patel and Rink wide, the shot off the bar, no, they're gonna say it was in. And that shot beats the goaltender, McNicholas. Virtually the same type of shot that we saw for the first merit goal. It doesn't hit twine. It just goes in and out. And the referee was right there in perfect position. And we'll take a look at the replay here, Tyler. As first we see the chance at the other end. For those watching at home is a great save there by Dunford and just goes the other way. And Almost a bit of like a fadeaway shot, Bonnie, as he was fading away from the... Christian Lowell will take the face off against A.J. Lacroix to the blocker side right of McNicholas and the Merritt Centennials win it. Allen shot, flutters in. It went off a stick and it bounces past Austin McNicholas and the Centennials find themselves a power play goal to tie this game at three. Well, there might have been a double deflection here, Bonnie. Of course, the initial shot came off of number eight, Allen Stick, as we're gonna get a good look at it for those watching at home. Looks like it goes off one Chief and it may be just the one deflection, so. 
I think it actually the goal should go to Allen based on what we could just see there for those watching at home. And a cross checking penalty as well, too. There's a shot scores! Right off the face off, just like that. Three seconds in the power play. The Chiefs have retaken the lead. It's 4 3. And there's the important body of winning face offs. What a shot by Lacroix. Top shelf has been the name of the game for the goal tonight. Just buries this puck. Well, look how he readjusts to the puck as well, too. He doesn't try to fight it. Gets his hips squared, lowers his center of gravity, leans on the stick, and just blows it by that trapper side. And who's waiting for him down in the corner of the Zamboni door with all the Huskers there? That was a pretty cool moment. And the Centennials move into the attacking zone. Five on three. Tristan Allen. Now the shot from the right point. Rebound scores. Walker Erickson just parked to the right of Austin McNicholas. Gets the Centennial second power play marker of the night, and it's a 4-4 game. Yeah, McNicholas just not able to handle this rebound, Vonnie. And this is just a wise backhand right on net. Just slaps at the puck. And when you have two more men out on the ice, then your opposition. And now it comes to the one-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. This has been such a team's team game, Bonnie. It really has. As we've seen the team of the Centennials claw their way back from a three-goal deficit just to have the Chiefs gain that right day again, that one-goal deficit to make it a 4-3 game. And then the Merritt Centennials came back again to tie this game. And through three on three, this is where we stand. Chiefs are going to shoot first. It'll be Mateo Mercik. And here he comes. Left handed shot. Mercik is stopped by Dunford. He was looking five hole there, and he kind of had it. Wasn't able to pinpoint that five hole opening, though. Good shot, good save. Diego Johnson's the shooter first for the Centennials. You know they practice this a lot in practice. Johnson, a right-handed shot, swings out to the right, moves back in, shoots, he scores. A little bar and in. So advantage Merritt through the opening round. And the next shooter for Chilliwack is Mason Kesselring. Left-handed shot. Mason Kesselring. He's had a heck of a game. Drifts out to the left, moves back in the middle, and lets a drifter go high and wide. That one did drift on him. And now Tristan Allen for the Centennials. I thought Allen's had a heck of a game, Ron. He really has. Here he comes, moves in, he shoots, he scores! And that is your winner right there, Tristan Allen, as the Centennials pour off the bench and celebrate a come-from-behind victory. They never led in this hockey game, and they were able to chip away and chip away and eventually force overtime and finally escape with so many Chilliwack Chief chances.